Hi guys, it's Marissa and in today's video I am doing a collective beauty haul and oh my golly gosh, this is my first ever beauty haul on this channel. What? I've never done like just a beauty haul before because I've always done like a clothing haul. I always add beauty things at the end or at the beginning so Ooh. so I'm super excited to like show you like everything I got because this is my first ever beauty haul. This is a big deal. Also, I'm super, super, super pumped because I am filming at night. Yep, night time. Well, I say night time, it's 10 past 8 at night, which is not actually night, but it's kind of night, but it's not night. It's pitch black outside anyway, and I have studio lights, so it kind of makes it look like it's daytime. It's my first time filming at night, and it's so much more easier and like... So with it being a collective haul, I've bought quite a few things over like a period of time. I've bought things like skincare, I've repaired just a few things, I've bought things I've never tried before. But also I've tried a, quite a few of these things before this video. So I had quite a bit to say about it than just like, oh, I got this, I got that, and I also got these. Bye! No. I tried the majority of these things so I had a lot more to say in the video than just say, I got this and that. Bye. So yeah, I'm sure you don't want to hear me chatter on about nonsense any longer, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start off with the makeup items, and the first thing I got, which is something I've never tried before, and I've kind of tried it on but I've not wore it out yet, and it is the Maybelline Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in the colour... 630 Nude Perfection and this is meant to be a lip pencil that is like a really 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 close dupe to the MAC lipstick Velvet Teddy. I'm sure Velvet Teddy is matte, a matte lipstick as far as I'm aware and this is not matte, this is like more of a creamy shiny version of Velvet Teddy and it goes on really really smoothly and is moisturising, it doesn't make, make your lips look cracked or anything like that, it doesn't settle into the lines, it's what I'm trying to say. I thought I'd buy this before I tried out Velvet Teddy because everyone and their mother has been raving about Velvet Teddy and I don't want to like spend £15 on a MAC lipstick when this was like £6, £5 or something. So I thought I'd try this out first because it was like a brownie nudie colour and I've never tried like a brown like nude colour before. I normally stick with like pinky colours or like really really natural colours so I thought I'd try this out and I like the colour. I really like the colour but I don't think I'd go and buy a Velvet Teddy just because I don't think this is a colour I'd wear every day. I'd wear it like every now and again maybe because I don't really think my skin tone suits the brown colours or like the brownie nude but it's still wearable. You can kind of like build the colour up so it's not like, it's not like boom, too intense, like lip. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can kind of like sheer it out with like your finger or just like apply a little bit. So it's really, really creamy and br br blendable. They have many, many other shades, which are like more natural and more like more shades that are more brighter, more shades that are like more nude. So yeah, I think I'd probably purchase more. Next item is a repurchase, and this lip liner, a Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the color 63 East End Snob. I really, really, really love this lip liner so, so much. It's like a really natural, like a really natural pinky berry nudie pink colour. It's just really really nice and purchase of mine and I hands down love this lip liner so 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 much. It's a matte lip liner so, so the stay in power is so 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 good. I literally drink, eat and everything and it's still on my lips and if that doesn't make you buy it I don't know what will because it's just so 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 good and the colour and the colour range and everything is just great. There's so many colours and this is but this is one of my favourites and I will repurchase it again because I love it a lot. Continuing on the line of lip products, I got my first MAC lipstick. I got my first MAC lipstick. Oh my god. Those of you who got your first MAC lipstick, you'll understand the excitement because everyone on YouTube and everywhere just raves about how good MAC lipsticks are and, and, and you're just like, I want every shade. But yeah, I got my first MAC lipstick and for, for my first one I picked a, wear, a very wearable colour. That's basically my lips but better colour, which is the colour I always go for on lipsticks because I know I'll get a ton of use out of it. And the colour I chose was Patisserie and it's a really neutral pinky nude colour but it's a lot more pink than nude so it doesn't wash you out, it just, it's just a perfect pink. 
and it is a luster finish so it's a lot more shiny and a lot more creamy and a little bit more sheer so it's a lot more sheer and natural and it's one of those colours that I just go with any makeup look it's one of those you can just throw on before you run out the door knowing it'll just go with whatever is on your face so the packaging is really really cool because it's like a little bullet and the lid just snaps on it's just I just I just love it a lot more sheerer than like the other MAC lipsticks which is like the amplified ones which is the colours like brrrr so yeah it's a lot more natural and I love it so 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 much and I'm wearing it right now and yeah I just love it it's just so moisturising and creamy and just I'm definitely going to my more because they are just so good next I got the L'Oreal True Matte foundation in did I just say True Matte True Match. I got the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the colour N1 Ivory and this is a repurchase of mine. I've talked about it before and it's just it's a really nice thin lightweight foundation which is just buildable and the coverage is really really nice and yeah it's just a great great foundation. One of my holy grail favourites so yes I got that. Next up is another repurchase and it is the Dream Fresh Maybelline B the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream and I just I just love this, it's just a tinted moisturiser, it gives you a little bit of coverage but gives you a nice glow and it just blends really nice to the skin and blends your imperfections and it has the SPF, I just I just love this a lot. I, if you've watched my channel for a while and you've watched like my videos, my favourite videos, my makeup tutorials, you'll, you'll know I love this because I always seem to talk about it. I always wear this on days when I don't wear the True Match and it's just, it's just great, I love it and I will continue to repurchase it because it's so super affordable. Last makeup item is the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. I always rave about this. I use it like almost every day when I wear makeup. It's just a really, really great concealer. The coverage is great. It blends so, so, so nice. But it says Lasting Perfection. Like, it always rubs off, which is so, so, so annoying. Because, like, in a makeup tutorial, when you show the concealer, it's, like, blank because all the writings come off. Collection Fix Your Sticker fix your writing but yeah I got this number one fair and I love it a lot next I'm gonna go on to like the perfumes and stuff like that because I'm so 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 excited about what I got Ta -da! the first things I got were these and I got these in the same day it's like so 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 happy because it's like oh my gosh it's the Ari by Ariana Grande hair mist and the rollerball I also got the perfume as well but I got these first because the box with the perfume and everything that I wanted wasn't in store so I I just got these at the time. I love this scent so, 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 so much. It's like a marshmallow, floral, girly scent, but it's not like too in your face, like sweet, floral, marshmallow. It kind of, once it goes into your skin, it kind of like tones down a bit. And it's just a really, really, really nice smell for like the daytime or nighttime. So yeah, I really, really love these a lot. And the hair mist is just great and something different because I've never had like a perfume hair mist before. It's like, I love it and the row ball is like so cute and it's like easy for travel and just throw in your bag when you don't want to take like the big bottle or anything like that so yes i love these and the scent is so 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 good you should smell it and smell it and you'll see and like i said i got the perfume box but it was like a couple of weeks after that it wasn't in store so yes i got the box i love Ariana Grande. i love her music and everything and when she brought out a perfume i was just like yes and I got like the full size and everything. I'll do like a close up shot so you can like see what's inside the box and everything. But yeah, I love it a lot and I'm so happy I got my hands on it when I did. And the last perfume ish item I got was this perfume and it's Prada Candy Floral. It's like the pink one in the pink box, like the pink liquid. And I got this way, 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 way back before like anything in this haul because it was a gift. And I really, really, really love the smell. It's like a floral, musky scent. It's not like sweet really in my opinion at all. It's like a musky floral scent. It's just it's really really lovely. But I haven't had a chance to wear it a lot because I've been like using Marc Jacobs like daisy perfumes and that because they're like really really nice for the daytime. But I should start using it more because I really really love the scent and I'm probably like the worst at describing smells. So you should probably go to your local perfume store and give it a smell yourself because you'll probably get a bit like a better understanding of the smell because my descriptions are very, very vague. The last few things in this haul are skincare items, and there is one, two, three, four. Four skincare items, and oh my gosh, I just noticed they are all Nivea. 
I guess I, I'm loving Navy at the moment. First thing is this and it is brand new but it says new at the lid. This is the Nivea Sensitive 3-in-1 Micellar Cleansing Water for Sensitive Skin. I think I said that. I've tried the simple one before and that was great and it's just it's just great. It just gets my makeup off really, really easily with a cotton pad. It's just wipe, 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 and it's like it dissolved like away. And as you can see, I've used quite a little bit of it already, and it's just great. And it's just really, really nice on the skin. It doesn't have a really strong smell or anything like that. It's just great for sensitive skin, and I love it. Next thing is this, and it is the Nivea Double Effect Eye Makeup Remover. And I've never tried an eye makeup remover before. I don't know why. I just have never got my hands on one I've just always used like a micellar water or like a makeup wipe for as long as I can remember so this is my first eye makeup remover and I think it's it's really really it's like really really cool it's like blue and like clear it's kind of like separated and then like you shake it shake it shake it up and it goes like a really cool like teal blue bubbly sparkly pretty color and it's just it's just really really great I just apply it to like a makeup wipe or a makeup pad and just wipe it across my eyes to get like mascara or anything else, anything off but it just kind of leave like an oily residue so I just like wipe it over when I wash my face and everything I wouldn't just like go to sleep with like oil oily makeup remover all over my face yeah from one of from one of you so far I think it's great it's not like irritating my skin or nothing it's just it's really sensitive and just nice I just obviously removing eye makeup. The last two things are moisturisers. This is a repurchase. This is the Nivea Rich Regenerating Night Cream. It's like in this little blue, dark blue tub. I'm guessing re representing nighttime. I've repurchased this a quite a few times before and I just love it. It's a really thick, it's a thicker cream obviously with it being a night cream and I apply it to my skin every night and it, it's not like one of those that sinks into your skin like straight away. like slowly sinks into your skin obviously overnight and then you wake up and your skin is so smooth and soft and yeah I love it a lot really really inexpensive not much money at all and it's a great great product it is this and it is the Nivea rich moisturizing day cream with natural almond oil and hydra IQ so yeah with it being winter I wanted like a daily moisturizer with a lot more with a little bit more oil in it and a little bit more one that's a little bit more moisturising so my skin doesn't like get too dry because I used to use the light moisturising day cream which was great it sunk in straight away and it was just it was great for underneath makeup but I wanted one that was a lot more moisturising obviously for the winter time so I got this and I'm loving it so far so yeah I'm loving this at the moment and I've used it almost every single day so that is it for my collective beauty haul I really really hope you enjoyed and as always, give it a thumbs up if you did. That'll help me out a lot. So subscribe if you haven't already. And you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And you'll see more of this face. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.